The State Russian Museum in St. Petersburg is the world's greatest museum of Russian art. It was established by the Emperor Nicholas II in 1895 and solemnly opened to the public on March 19, 1898. Up to 1917 the museum was called the Russian Museum of the Emperor Alexander III. Alexander III, the father of Nicholas II, was a passionate collector like Catherine the Great. His palace in Gatchina was a real treasury. Acquired masterpieces, pictures, carpets, sculptures, did not fit in the galleries of the Winter Palace, the Anishkov Palace and other mansions. After his father's death, Nicholas II transferred the collection to the Russian Museum in memory of Alexander III. Initially museum was located in the halls of Mihailovsky Palace. It included around 1880 works of art, sculptures, old Russian masterpieces moved from the State Hermitage Museum, Arts Academy and Emperor's Palaces. Mihailovsky Palace, is the building of the Empire style that was initially planned by the Emperor Pavel I. However, he was not able to see the result of his ideas, as Pavel was murdered as a result of a conspiracy. Despite that, the Emperor Alexander I ordered to build a palace. Carlo Rossi designed the Mihailovsky Palace and the front square, as well as two streets, in Zeranaya and Mikhailovskaya. The building was ceremonially laid on July 14, 1819 and the actual construction started on July 26. The nearby garden, also called Mihailovsky, was arranged from the side of Marsovo Field. On September 11, 1825 the palace was sanctified. Nowadays, apart from Mihailovsky Palace, Russian Museum includes Summer Palace of Peter the Great, Marble Palace, St. Michael's Castle, Stroganov Palace, Peter's Cabin. The museum area is expanded by Mikhail Vosky and Summer Gardens. Its total area is more than 30 hectares. The collection includes over 400,000 exponents and covers all historical period and tendencies of Russian art within over 1,000 years, from the 10th to the 21st centuries. The greatest part of the collection is situated in the former residence of Mikhail Petrovich, Mihailovsky Palace. On the first floor you will see the exposition of Russian folk art from 17th to 21st centuries, a great collection of paintings and sculptures of the 19th century. There are also wood carving works, ceramics, weaving. The second floor is filled with the art collection of the 18th century and some exponents of the 19th century. There is also a two-story Benoit wing where you can mostly explore temporary museum expositions and see the works of modern painters and sculptors. Museum's collection possesses wonderful ancient icons, including those done by Rublev, Ushakov, and Dionysius. It is hard to call a name of a Russian artist, whose creations are not found in the Russian Museum. 15,000 paintings are the best masterpieces of Russian masters over 800 years. An outstanding exhibition of work from the artistic centers of ancient and medieval Russia. This includes 6,000 icons, such as those by Russia's most famous icon painters, Andrei Rublev and Simon Ushakov, as well as the oldest surviving Russian image of the Virgin Mary, and the first icons depicting a Russian saint. This exhibition of paintings, sculptures, and decorative and applied art showcases the artistic development of 18th century Russia. There is a particularly captivating range of portraits depicting members of the imperial family and court, and impressive mosaics from the workshop of Mikhail Lomonosov, some of the first ever created in Russia. The main artistic trends of the 19th century, Romanticism and Realism, are represented here. This includes the paintings of artists including Karl Bryulov, Sylvester Shedrin, and Ivan Ivazovsky, and the work of renowned sculptors such as Boris Orlovsky. A separate section showcases the masterful work of the Parentvizniki, a group operating in the latter part of the 19th century who rejected Western European classicism in favor of socially aware realism. Artwork by its members, such as Ilya Rapin, Isaac Levitan, and Ivan Shishkin, is displayed here. A fascinating exhibition displaying Russian art at the turn of the 20th century. As well as examples of modernist, neoclassical, and realist artwork, it features the majorly influential Miraskist of the movement. This movement encompassed a huge variety of artistic styles, and the exhibition includes pieces by Boris Kustadyev, Alexander Benoy, Nathan Altman, and Leon Baxt. 